Hello everyone, welcome back to SketchUp Code. This is the place where you're going to learn how to create SketchUp extensions. My name is Rafael Rivera and in today's video we're going to discuss where to write our code what code editors we are going to use. Inside SketchUp, there's one extension called Ruby Code Editor, and that's what we're going to use when we have a small script that we want to test. And it's fast and we can play and see what the code is doing inside SketchUp. Now, the second thing we're going to discuss is Sublime Text. And now this is an IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment, that is more powerful. and Sometimes when we write extensions, we have multiple Ruby scripts and we want them to talk to each other. Managing multiple files in Ruby code editor is not ideal. So that's why I choose Sublime Text. Now the third one is going to be Carbon, uh, which is a website where we can write a script and it will make it so that we can share it to our social media. It looks good and that's what I use sometimes to post on my blog and I'll show you that. So I don't know about you, but I'm very excited. So let's get started. Okay, so to download the Ruby code editor for SketchUp, we go to Google and we type SketchUp extensions. We want to go to the extension warehouse. Usually it's the first link, the URL is extensions.sketchup.com. And in the search bar, we click and we type Ruby code editor and we search. Usually the first extension is the right one by Alex Reyes. I don't know if I pronounced that right. And in the right, there's a button which is red and we click it and we download to the desktop. Now, once the RBC file is in the desktop, we can go inside SketchUp and I'll show you how to install it there. Okay, so in SketchUp, we go to Windows and we want to go to where it says Extensions Manager. A Windows pop-up and the red button below it says Install Extension and we search the RBC file that we saved from the Extension Warehouse and we click Open and now that's it. We have it installed and we have a toolbar which if we press it, you will see that the code editor is now ready for use. Okay, so we're going to do most of our coding in here I'm going to show you how to use it. And next, I'm going to show you how to install Sublime Text so that when you have bigger projects, you know what to use. To download Sublime Text, we go to Google and type the name. The first link is usually the right one. It's sublimetext.com. And I have a Mac, so I have a download for Mac button. But if you have a Windows, you can rest assured you will have an installment for Windows. So I click Save and I save it to the desktop. Here it is, and we can install it from there. So briefly, let me explain the reason I use Sublime. I have a source folder where I have an extension called Autobot Color, and that has multiple RB files. So if I drag that source folder into Sublime Text, I will have some links in the left side, which I can access and create tabs for each one. So I can go through each tab and edit them multiple files at the same time. That is the ease of use of Sublime Text. So now let's look at what Carbon can do for you. Okay, how to go to Carbon? We go carbon.now.sh and that will lead us to the main page. This text we can edit delete and paste one of our own and we can choose different themes uh, the most i like is dracula so we choose that here we can choose different type of languages but we'll stick with ruby and the background can be changed to whatever you like i'll choose white and then i'll export it as a png we can export it as a svg as well so i save it to the desktop and now we have a png that we can share to maybe a Facebook group to get feedback or to share your code with the world. Okay, so we have reached the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the video. And if you have time, leave a comment suggesting what can I teach and what do you want to learn? Okay, so see you next time.